Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today we're going to be making a controller for remote electrical ignition so I don't have to risk these anymore when testing rockets. Alright, so here's what the basic circuit looks like that we're going to be using for this ignition controller. So it's going to look a little different once it's laid out into the box that we make for the ignition button. Um, but here is the most simple way to show it laid out. So we're going to be using a 9 volt battery uh, where our uh, negative, so electrons travel from the negative end of the battery to the positive end. So electrons will be traveling here, here, here along a wire. Uh, most likely going to be using a copper wire for this. So it's traveling until it reaches a button right here and this button will be switched off blocking the electrons from completing the circuit but once we press this button which is going to be our uh, big red ignition button once this is pressed the electrons keep on flowing along our copper wire and eventually uh, you'll see that it approaches this nichrome wire but after that it goes all the way around and completes the circuit to the positive end. So once it completes the circuit and there's electrons flowing through, there's the right, this right here is our nichrome wire that we're going to be using. And the nichrome wire is actually where the ignition is going to be taking place. So I'll have this hooked up right next to our fuse or whatever we're trying to ignite. Um, I'm thinking maybe if our fuse is uh, having a hard time um, getting heated up enough from the nichrome wire itself maybe I can add some nitrocellulose so the nichrome wire can heat up the nitrocellulose and then that'll uh, create a fire to heat up the to burn the fuse uh, enough but so once this is completed our nichrome wire will heat up so why wouldn't our copper wire, wire heat up and only our nichrome wire will well, it has to do with the resistiv resistivity of it. So it's um very uh, it's very resistive material to electron flow. So if this was the nichrome wire or any wire really, and we have uh, electrons traveling here, these electrons can uh, are traveling here, and they have kinetic energy right ke uh, as they're moving inside this wire but some electrons might uh, the path might be a little different and they bump into the sides of the wire resisting the motion of these electrons right so this uh, once this motion is resistive resisted uh, it will hit the side of the wire and create some heat so this Ke will go to Q, which is thermal energy. Um, I don't know why it's called Q. Don't ask me. I'm not the one who invents these variables. But Q represents our thermal uh, energy. So um, yeah, so we're going to get right into the building now of this, uh, of this ignition controller. All right, so I got it all put together now. Uh, I want to work you guys through what I've done here. So here is our rocket launch controller, our electrical ignition controller. I think it looks pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. Um, the the work, worksmanship on the wood can definitely be a bit better, but I think the what matters is that it works. So, okay, so I got some push buttons here. This button is what will ignite um, our nichrome wire which is right here okay so it works just like the clip I showed in the beginning but it looks different since it's in the box here so first it travels from the negative end of this 9 volt battery that's inside right uh, to this push button okay uh, right now it's closed off but once the push button is pressed then electrons will flow down here up through and out right here so in the back let me show you I drilled a hole to have two wires 
So right now the electrons are flowing through one of them, right? It'll go out, flow through this, and we have a nice long cable here because we want to do this from far away, we ignite, and it'll reach our nichrome wire, travel back through in the box into the other black wire we have, and straight to the positive end of the nine volt battery, okay? So right here, our ni this nichrome wire, once the button is pressed, the circuit should be completed, and this nichrome wire, it's kind of hard to see right now. It's a very thin wire. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see it now. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is press this button, give it a quick test, have my finger on the nichrome wire, just to see if it heats up when I press the button. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that heats up immediately. And it cools down immediately too, wow. That's crazy. So we can do some uh, testing on this now. I'm excited. All right, so I've brought my rocket uh, ignition controller outside now. Um, and I have a Nikon wire hooked up over here with a uh, little bit of a fuse. Uh, that's usually the fuse that I use for when I test my rockets. So I wanna make sure that this Nikon wire produces enough heat to actually um, ignite this fuse. Um, it's also snowing down on us a little bit, so hopefully that doesn't, um, that doesn't get too annoying. And, uh, everything's hooked up, uh, and the wire's wrapped up around the, um, the fuse, so, uh, hopefully there's enough, uh, surface area, uh, to create enough heat there. And all we have to do is press this button, and hopefully it will heat up and ignite the fuse. Ready? Three, two, one, launch. Just gonna hold the button. Seems like it's not producing enough heat there. Okay, well, let's try adding some nitrocellulose to it. All right, now we got it sitting on a bed of nitrocellulose. So we have the nichrome wire wrapped around the fuse but this time there's nitrocellulose wrapped around all of it now. So hopefully the nichrome wire should ho uh, ignite the nitrocellulose and then that'll create enough heat to ignite the fuse. But we'll see, let's do it. Three, two, one, launch. Okay, so we ignited the nitrocellulose but it did not seem to ignite the, the fuse. Okay. All right, I'm kind of bummed out that the fuse didn't ignite from the nitrocellulose. Um, so I think our plan of action for next time will be to add another nine volt battery uh, up the voltage. Hopefully then that'll create enough heat to actually uh, ignite the fuse. So I'll give that a try in the future. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied that the nitrocellulose was able to ignite from this.